Oh man. Why? Why they do that to me? Hello survivors and welcome to a new video. In today's video we are going to be playing on the Pyromancer. We're going to be playing with Combustion. We're not actually going to be keeping the Combustion skill. Today we are doing a viewer special. So one of our viewers uh, asked me if we could maybe do a void or shadow spell only run. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be taking the new skill Shadow Spike as well as Void and Shadow Bolt. And then we will see just how disgusting we can get the run to be. Also, by the way, um, they buffed Combustion. So as you can see, there is a red ring around me. If you had a look at my Righteous Fire video, the red ring was not there before. So some things we're going to be looking for is... I think the damage is more important than the... Mm, multicast right now. 4% just isn't enough. If we get one of the red or the legendary multicast, then it's a definite pickup. Or if we get multicast for shadow or area, then that's also good. All right, so we are going to just gather some buffs. Um, combustion does deal enough damage now for us to not worry about being able to kill things. And we're just going to hope to get some Void, Shadow Bolt and Shadow Spark as early as possible. Got a hair in my mouth. Okay, first elite's gonna spawn now. There he is. A nice fire one, so we can just run circles around him and not worry about being hit by anything. We'll do the three level ups once he's dead. Okay, there we go. And... Ooh. I guess we're gonna grab some burn. I guess we're going to grab some chill. Oof, that is so good. Okay, so this is the first skill. Uh, Shadow Spark. Shadow Sparks are summoned from the ground in a straight line towards a random enemy. Unfortunately, it's random. And it applies Doom and has impact damage. And then it deals 529 after 5 seconds for Doom. So there you can see nice purple crystals exploding from the ground. Unfortunately, it is random. We'll grab some fragility there. Fragility is king. We also, uh, I think one of the only things that we are hoping to get besides for the three necessary skills is going to be exposed weakness because exposed weakness makes it so that all effects that we apply to enemies are doubled when we crit or bleed. I don't know, I'll read the skill again just to make sure. But also, as you can see, there is a number of void stacks on top of enemies now. Uh, whereas before, it never used to be there. It used to be an invisible number. Okay, we don't actually need crit. Uh, but we will take this. Because I have a feeling we're going to need that. Okay, reroll that. That's chaos though, not shadow. Chaos, not shadow. All right, I'll take a bloodlust with pleasure. We're still just hoping to find ourselves a void. We'll grab area of effect. Oops. <clears throat> so now we just need ourselves a void, shadow bolt, and mart. So that we can get rid of combustion. Okay, increased duration buff. Um, I believe the music. 
music might be slightly too loud. We'll just throw it down a bit. Come on. Alright, so we're gonna grab ourselves. We'll just grab flame wave for now um, because we're already using combustion. So why not add a little bit of fire to it? It's okay. Doesn't take away from the build itself. Except for when things like that happen. Okay, we'll just grab increased attack. AoE. I should have gone the attack speed. Okay, here's a self column of the ice. Lord, incarnation of ice. This dude later on, if he's the fifth boss, is always like, he's actually quite hectic. When he's the first boss, he's not so bad. He's pretty easy to kill. Oh, yes, we got multicast shadow. That's perfect. Okay, boss is dead. Oh, come on, game. Okay, attack speed of Shadow Spark, and let's go for more area of effect. The AoE is there to help Void when we eventually get it. There we go, perfect. So let's get rid of Meteor. Okay, increase area of effect. Increased area of effect. There's a lot of area of effect happening here. Okay, we're just looking for Shadow Bolt and hopefully we find it. Mm, 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 mm. We're going to be having ourselves a lot of Shadow Spikes. This is looking lovely. Okay, frequency of bloodlust, sure. That just means that its cooldown gets reduced. Getting a blue magnet would be nice. Okay, AoE. Now we can do chill to fragility. We did grab a Chill, the 40% chance to chill. Uh, where was it now? There we go, touch of ass. So now whenever we chill people, they become fragile and we deal more damage to them. Okay, we got ourselves shield wall so we can get rid of flame wave and we can grab some multicast, I guess. Oh man, why? Why they do that to me? Why? You know what, you can't pass up on it. I'm not going to be using Combustion, unfortunately. Uh, oh, so I can't grab it. It just hurts. It hurts me so badly seeing that. That's why we need to get rid of it as soon as possible. Because just now we're going to find a multicast fire or something. And then what? Yeah, we still haven't got rid of it either, which is a problem. No one needs movement speed. Come on. Thank you, finally. All right, six minutes in and we finally got all of our skills. So now we just run around like a madman because we have no targeting skills. <laughs> ah, we just gotta run around and hope we hit stuff. Alright, so we're going to grab another Leviathan. 
and then we can grab a bloodlust potency. potency of bloodlust. So as you can see, there are now stacks of void, um, and obviously the more stacks you have, the more damage it deals, and then eventually it will just pop the enemy. That is a lot slower than obviously your on-hit uh, skills, or even some other damage over time skills, because I think Void isn't as strong. Although this one does 630 damage. So as long as Shadow Sparks hits him. A thousand damage and five. Okay, actually it could multiply quite a lot. Bam, dead. Alright, so we have four upgrades over here. So we're gonna banish resilience. Grab multicast. Uh, we'll get gangrene, some more fragility, and increased area of effect. 15%. Ooh, what is this attack? Do you know what? We'll grab this. Because that just gave it like a two second cooldown so Went from seven point something to five seconds. So that's a huge increase to DPS, I think. Increased durations of buff. Yes, please. Uh, we should grab a mart if it ever shows up. Or get rid of piercing shout. Frequency. Yeah. We're gonna grab a magnetic. I know we're not actually doing it for the XP uh, percentage, we're doing it for the magnetism. Because, you know, having to move around so much. Also, somehow I gravitated towards the corner. Also, all these things, that's all these red dots and everything, is now the uh, incont incarnation of Ars. Uh, those are all his skills. They're quite hectic. All of that is him. This is him. I mean, compared to Alexi, this dude is hectic. But he's got a nice amount of void stacks on him right now. So that's good for us. Just means he's gonna just pop eventually. Oh no, ow, 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 ow. get me out. Oh, I can't move. All right, so we're out of there. Grab some lava. Yo, I don't know. That's a lot of stacks on him, and he just ain't dying. Um, okay, we'll grab uh, more AOE. Why not? Oh, he died. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention to his life at the top. Okay, increase all damage of shadow skills. Yes, please. I mean, at least we did get the legendary... Uh, ...multicast, or at least one of them. Increase damage by 12. Oof, that's very, very nice. A huge increase to damage from that. Also, it looks like Shadow Bolt deals the most Doom damage. Just gotta make sure that our Shadow Bolt's hitting them. Okay, this is the second to last boss. So it would be interesting to see how many stacks are gonna insta kill him. Or 
mean, along the fact that I do a whole lot of other thing damage like burn and bleeding. But he's on a hundred stacks already. Let's hop out of there. Let's just do some level ups. That's a really, really nice skill over there. Oh, awesome. Thermal shock, but we don't need that. Okay, damage and damage. Now it's doing 2k every five seconds, and that's per stack. And there we go, it dead. All right, so there's a little mini multicast for Shadow Ball. Shadow Bolt, sorry. Uh, I can't actually even see it shooting. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's kind of bugged. It looks like it's going underground. <laughs> I don't know if that's bugged or if it's because of the AoE, so it shoots it under the floor. It's very interesting to see. If you can even see anything. Because there's just so much going on. Let's increase damage avoid by 18%. That's 809 damage. Ah. The level of the skills aren't too high, unfortunately, but I mean, it's still a really enjoyable run. Very easy run as well. 3.5 seconds. Let's go three seconds now. Grab the la. I can't see what's happening. And the final one is a Lexi. So we're going to try and hit as many stacks of void on them. And let's see. So it's 170,000 la. Let's see when it decides to just oko him. Oh, thank goodness we got Lexi though, because I think if we landed up with the incarnation, incarnation of us, it would have been a bit of a harder fight. Uh, Lexi is a lot easier. Uh, well, for me at least. That could be different for everyone, but for me, Alexi is a lot easier. We never got our exposed weakness, unfortunately. It would have been really nice to have had it as a power-up. Um, I believe it would have made the run a lot faster uh, as exposed weakness causes wounds and wounds double the effects of void. So instead of having 170 stacks now, he should have had 350 effectively. Oh right, look, we got Mart right at the end. <laughs> uh, that's okay. We're still waiting to see how much life we pop Alexi from. We're sitting on 250 stacks and dead. So at 250 stacks uh, and about half life, Alexi just got insta killed. Well, that was it guys. We dealt quite a decent amount of damage. Uh, 4 million for Void, 2.8 million for Shadow Spikes and 1.7 million for Shadow Bolt. I hope you all enjoyed the video and please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors and I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.